you have a virtual assistant company? Yep. Yep. Virtual assistant agency. Yep. Okay. But what stood out for me in addition to that was that it's AI. So it seems to be something a little bit different in that area. So. Um, well, I've always been a early adopter. So when AI came out, a lot of people were freaking out of like, oh, crap, this is going to replace my job. For me, I empowered our assistants. I'm like, no, it's not going to remove your job. It's going to empower your job. It's going to make your life so much easier. Uh, so that's Wise good. individual, because the first card that came up, Julian, was why cancel. And what it literally says on the on this card, it says unity with the spirituality minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. But Tell it me, says, what has your experience been like living in the Philippines? I guess like the biggest comparative thing, because, because I love to travel as well. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, just this year, I've traveled more than even before the pandemic, which is crazy. Um, I think the biggest one is you do always have a community and that's always kind of the biggest thing that of course culture wise like we don't have senior homes here we don't have a lot of daycare because everyone takes care of everyone daycare. else normal interesting is another car is a gentleman here that is walking through the door and on the card it says a need to move on seeking more from life than what you are experiencing a spiritual quest choosing to make big life changes a change in priorities leaving home you're working what was your journey like living in the philippines in such a community base of leaving home and going out on your own that's that's such an interesting thing that that popped up because i've been thinking of moving in the last couple of like weeks so that's interesting that follow up but i do have an interesting story how, how i did move out um so when i was 18 years old Sally, also something for you to know when you're living in the Philippines is there's typhoons. And our hometown when I was 18 got hit by the strongest typhoon, still hit to land. Our house was facing the sea. So our house was flooded up to the first floor of water. I was still downstairs when it was rising up to my neck. Um, And I had this epiphany in my little brain where it was like, it felt like an hour, but it was like just 10 seconds of me seeing where my life was going to be, where my mom and I were planning. I was going to be a lawyer. I was going to work abroad, so on and so forth. Um, and I had that feeling of like, I hate that. I don't want that. So, and I promised myself, if I'm going to survive this, I'm going to make a life that I will be happy if I died. Um, mm-hmm. That was kind of the, the feeling that I got. Feeling that I got. Um, right. What's the vision a year from now? A year from now, um, I want to live somewhere else other than the Philippines kind of like the goal that I'm working yeah, working towards. Um, like right now I'm thinking of moving out from the place that I've been in for the last nine years since I moved um, from my hometown. But I but ultimately the year from now I want to be planning to moving to another country, moving to somewhere else uh, and definitely having probably one more business on, added onto my um, belt. Um, that's kind of where I see myself. <laughs> where you see yourself? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you said you had your own deck nearby yep okay I have this one okay so I've been asked for you to pull a card Ooh. Ooh. ace of cups mm-hmm. open hand emotions receiving so have that card out for you today because we all have our own wise counsel and be encouraged to trust the message that you're giving the signs and receive don't doubt it but know that you'll be guided in the direction and that you do have a team that is with you and that you'll be okay when you find your your new home i love it thank you so much you're so welcome